Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cattle and Crops. I'm not even kidding. This is, yeah, actual Cattle and Crops. Real thing. Tech demo uh, was released today um, to the early access buyers, so if you backed for the early access, you can now actually play actual Cattle and Crops. Although, I can't quite figure out how to get into the tractor, which is... Uh, use next vehicle tab. Apply. The game has a habit of hanging up when it's in a menu like this, and you've just hit apply for some reason. Um, tab. There we go, we're in the vehicle. Uh, attach the cultivator with Q. I don't know how to do Q. Whoops. Okay, drive to the field. This actually, <laughs> actually is performing really well. Um, at the moment, it's literally just this ax uh, Ariane and um, the Cultivator in-game, but uh, it's literally just the tech demo. And it's using basically the same controls as Farm Sim. So you can cultivate to your heart's delight can't work on this field. Turn my tractor 180 degrees to the right. Okay. Well, I've, I've mucked up already because I haven't gotten a straight line. Is there like a uh, cruise control or something? No. Let's just lower the cultivator again. We are cultivating in... What? We are legitimately cultivating. You can see the um, terrain deformation in play there. At work when I ran over the bit that I'd already cultivated. I'm making aims of this. There doesn't seem to be any sort of um, method by which you can use a cruise control. Is there? Um, there's my mouse. Settings, controls, vehicle, um, speed control, T, ah, T. There we go. Now we're cultivating at a reasonable pace. It's just, this is Cattle Crops, and as you can see, we do have a first-person perspective. Um, I'm not sure how to use the user actions, unfortunately. But, uh, unless it's like... Yeah, I have no idea how to use most of the game. Uh, this is literally my first time in it. and This is on pretty much maxed out graphics. Now, all you can do at the moment is... Um, cultivate or drive around with the class. This is the uh, the tech demo map, the one that has been in all of the videos so far. So this isn't even the full game map, I don't think. Um, I think there's more to come from the full game map. Uh, but I might be wrong. But th this, I am kind of astonished. And it's, it's really easy to know the controls because they're basically the same controls as Farm Sim has. Um, I, yeah. I really, uh, 
was I wasn't expecting this to drop the same day as the mod contest mods from Farm Sim. I will admit this. Because it kind of came out of the blue. There's no animations as of yet, but it looks a bit on the co Oh, no, there are, but you gotta be smart about it. The cultivator only works when it's actually cultivating. Who knew? And it does dig into the ground. It is slightly underground. You can see it cultivating away and working the ground. And this... So far is... Astonishingly... Kind of everything that we want... Uh, that, that a lot of people were expecting at Cattle and Crops. It's... Not... Arcade-y. Yes, you got the arcade style controls that everybody's used to with... Pretty much the same controls as um, Farm Sim, which really is what Cannon Crops is trying to be better than in terms of realism. Um, so familiarity with controls is probably a good thing. Um, the class tractors is definitely something different. I've bogged down somehow. I'm not even sure why this thing is bogging down, but it is. Um, I did notice when I was loading in, because I did skip the loading screens and all that, that you can choose um, what farmer you use. You can choose like your farmer and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can't at the moment. So everybody's going to use Captain Balding here. But... Uh, Right now, I don't know how to get the mouse up, to be quite honest. Is it alt? There's got to be, like, something that I'm missing here. There's got to be some control that lets me use the mouse. Um... Oh, release mouse. Uh, we'll bind that to K. And apply. So some of the controls, for some reason, aren't bound by default on keyboard, which is a bit a bit odd. Um, especially stuff like release the mouse, which you can now do the IC stuff, like opening the doors and what if I just I've moved the toe pin attacher and I can move the front hydraulics and I believe even no, that was the front hydraulics again. But now if I want, I can complete the mission. I hit OK. And now I can... figure this stuff out. What's this? Door left. Oh, you can decide how open or close the door is. So, 0.86 is pretty much open. Zero is closed. So close... Mostly close that door. It's not quite there. Um, there we go. Steering console can come down. This is really quite different to, um, what everybody would be used to with farm sim. <laughs> Don't tell me you can, you can turn the wipers on manually. And... What can you do to this thing? Doesn't say. What I'm going to do is I'm going to detach here, and we're going to go for a bit of an adventure. Um, how do I change how the cruise control works? Are there like controls for this? Because shift gear up plus gas limiter. Actually, can you... Is 
So as you can see, this is the tech demo of Catlin Crops, um, which I really wasn't expecting for quite a while. Let's turn the windscreen wiper off. That's getting slightly distracting. Let's turn all the lights on. That's really pretty. Windscreen wiper is refusing to turn off for some reason. Um... the wiper off, that's... Oh, let's move the steering console up. What can I do with this? Oh, that's the door. Which... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say it's randomly left uh, thing lying about, but it hasn't. It hasn't left... Uh, console floating in midair, you can... Please don't tell me you can move this. Can you move the seat? Even can... Okay, so... Some of these do seem to break a bit. Um, I probably shouldn't be screwing about with all this stuff. The tractor does turn itself off, which is different. You can... Ah! There is, uh... Some traffic. I want to go play with the traffic and see what happens. I want to see how the traffic responds to being smacked. Well... It's semi-concrete traffic. Which is, uh... different, I think. I'm gonna smack into the back of this van. There seems to have been an accident up here. Oh my god. The traffic is not concrete. Um, that is astonishing. No, I don't want the wiper on. Oh, am I gonna have to hop into the cab again to turn the wiper off? Yes, I am. Because apparently once you turn the wiper on, it'll never go off again. No, no, up. Oh, stop. Let's get the uh, console down. There we go. Now it looks more legit. So you can... push the traffic around. Well, that makes life a lot easier for the uh, Farm Sim 13 fans out there. And just to prove that it wasn't just that one field that had deformable terrain, I'm going to make a big mess in this field here and just do a couple of spins. What happens if I keep going around in kind of like the same ruts? Does it make things worse? Or does it... It seems to just like move the tra yeah the terrain's kind of muddy by the looks of it, um, which is interesting. This is a I believe a, s a quite small map, so it is potentially possible to just wander off and drive off the side. What happens if I uh, can I zoom out? Yeah, this is the edge of the map here. What's this? No passage. You're approaching the border area. Please turn around immediately. So that's just warning you, you're coming to the edge of the map. Yeah, there's not many fields. Um, this is just the demo map. This isn't the default map by any means. But, uh... I must say, this is an incredibly pretty game. For a farming game. It is incredibly pretty like astonishingly so can you drive you, okay so you can just uh, drive through this stuff and let's head over to Heidevig which is a suspension test track oh yes 
So let's, uh, I guess, demonstrate the suspension, seeing as we're over here. Let's uh, get onto cruise control, and you can see how this performs. This is just a tech demo, so I mean, it's not going to be overly representative of the finished product, but you can see the suspension at work. And the tractor kind of struggling. I'm not entirely sure I should be doing this. Um, I'm definitely not sure I should be doing that. But you can see the tractor kind of struggling to get over some of the bumps. And we're just going to jump across here over to this section. And this is just me kind of investigating the game for myself. So let's get this on some sort of cruise control ish. Just keep going like 15 kph. You can see. Let's actually slow it down. You can see that the tractor is responding to these bumps quite well, and the suspension is mostly behaving and uh, yeah it, it, it's responding the way that a tractor probably should to be quite honest whoa This is... Oh, this is showing how it responds on properly uneven terrain. And that's genuinely impressive. But the... Yeah, the suspension is acting independently of itself. And effectively, I'm not sure what this is over here. Is this ramps? Can I do just, like, random ramps and stuff? Um, I'm not entirely sure where the game started me with 5 million. I didn't do that. But, uh... What's this? Is this just like showing how? Oh, show! Oh, I see what that's showing. It's showing how the uh, the weight transfer goes because you can see that it, it kind of loses weight at the top of these ramps. It kind of jumps up, but the wheels are kind of still on the ground because the suspension's pushing down. That's that's really quite nice. These are the. Uh, famous circles from the cattle crops video. So if I were to just I see how this works now. The more you press T the higher it sets the cruise control. So if I were to set it at like 15-ish you can see that it goes over a reasonable enough pace. Um, and honestly there's not a whole lot to show off at the moment. Um, Master Brain Bytes, the devs, have said, um, does this, oh, the tractor does not respond well to those, those cones at all. Okay. Now I know. I may have got the tractor stuck. Let's use what amounts to cheat mode. I may have actually caused something to break here. Because that doesn't want to do anything. Let's uh, get out of the. Oh, it was because I had cruise control turned on. So let's uh, try and get the door closed, maybe. Close the blooming door. The left door, the right door. There we go. Let's investigate a bit more of the map, I think. Uh, but there's not a whole lot to show off. It is an incredibly pretty game. This is um, cattle crops in the springtime, by the way. And of course, it does have a full seasonal kind of thing going on. The grass is amazing. It. 
looks and kind of, in a way, responds like real grass. There's oh here's a um, a wet and muddy field so this should actually bog the tractor down a bit more in theory or it can just go sailing through it like I don't I think this is an oldish version of the tech demo potentially because this is just sailing through as if there's um, nothing there it might be because of the realism settings at the moment. Um, can I change the realism settings because let's go for hardcore physics um, with all the things up and apply that. Let's see what happens when you apply hardcore physics. Because up until then I was playing kind of medium physics and uh, props to Master Brain Bites and Cuddle Crops for uh, clicked outside the window by mistake. Props to them for uh, actually having fit, you know, physics and realism sliders, which is something that uh, I think a lot of a lot more simulators should have. Because I know there's people who don't want to play, you know, simulators 100% realistically. Also, I am running down these stalks intentionally. There's people who don't want to play simulators 100% realistically, um, just because they don't see that as fun. And that's kind of their choice. There's people who want to play really realistically, and there's people who want to have a choice on a day-by-day -day basis. And those sliders, very, very welcome in a game, um, especially in a simulator. So, I think I'm gonna end this here. Um, hope you enjoyed. I know I this wasn't expected at all today. I wasn't expecting to be playing cattle and crops today <laughs> or this week. Um, I was maybe expecting it like within the next two to three weeks, not today. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll leave you by saying I've been able to Dave. You've been watching cattle and crops, and it still astounds me that I can say that. Um, Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.